Hello. In this video, we are going to discuss about perspectives, which is a new feature released by Microsoft in the month of August. Before we try this new feature in Power BI, let's try to get some basic understanding on what is perspective by going through the definition in the documentation page. Here we have some basic information pertaining to perspectives. A perspective defines a viewable subset of a model that provides focused business specific or application specific viewpoints. When a user connects to a model by using a perspective, they see only the model objects, example, tables, columns, measures, hierarchies, and KPIs as fields defined in that perspective. So now let's quickly go to PBI and then try to experiment this new feature. So one prerequisite is you need to enable tabulator in your Power BI desktop. If you haven't installed it, please go ahead and install the tabulator. So I have some data in this PBI file. So it has only one table uh, called as fact. And you have some columns like business type, country, country code, uh, region, various levels, and then total revenue and total units, which are these two measures. And I have a simple uh, stacked area chart here. And if I click on this uh, properties of this chart, I have region level zero in the axis and just the total revenue in the values, okay? Only one column and one measure. And now if I go back to the page properties here, okay, under the format section, and if I scroll down a bit here, okay, so we have, we don't have, we don't see anything here, right? We have only page information, page size, background, alignment, wallpaper, filter, pain and filter cuts. You don't have anything related to perspective. I'm going to show you how to enable the perspective option first. Okay. So now if I go to the file here in the ribbon and select options and settings here under the options and give it a second. Okay. So as per the Microsoft documentation page, you need to enable perspective in the current file report settings, okay? As per the documentation. But if you scroll down here, right, you don't see anything related to the perspective, right? You don't see anything. Ideally, it should be at the very bottom, but you don't see anything. To enable this feature here under the report settings, first, what you have to do is under the global settings, you have something called preview features. Click on this preview feature first, and then you have something called personalized visuals. Click this here and select OK. And once you select OK, it'll ask for a restart, OK? So click OK. So restart your PBI file. Let me do that. Once you restart the PBF file, go back again to the file here under the option and settings, options. Just give it a second. So now if you look under the current file report settings, you will be able to see the option called personalized visuals preview, okay? Click on this, allow report readers to personalize visuals to suit their needs, select this. Click OK. And again, you need to restart because sometimes I, uh, if you don't restart, you will not be able to see the perspective. So I would recommend to restart it once again. Let me do that. So I restarted my PBI file. And now if you go back to the format, there's a page properties. And if you scroll down here, you have an option called personalized visual, right? You can see if I expand this section here, you have report readers perspective, okay? So this is how we enable this perspective. But now I'm gonna show you how to create perspective, okay? This is just enabling the feature. Now to create a perspective, what you have to do is go to the external tools here. You have something called tabulator. Click on this tabulator, okay? So when, when, once you click on the tabulator, a new window opens up here. 
So now if you look here right under the model you have something called perspectives. So right click on this perspective. It opens uh, a new folder and you can name it according to your wish. So I'm going to name this as revenue perspective. Okay, revenue perspective. So now if I expand this folder under the tables here, this is my table, this is my main table fact. Expand this. Let's say under the revenue perspective, I want to see the revenue by all the geo hierarchy that is region, country. And under this perspective, I, I also want to see the total revenue and let's say total units, total units being optional. So how do I do that? So first let's add the geo hierarchy that is region level one, uh, show in perspective, revenue perspective, level one, add this one as well. Right click region level two, show in perspective, revenue perspective, and also the country, show in perspective, revenue perspective. And in the measures, I want to see total revenue, show in perspective, revenue perspective, let's say some of the user might be also interested in total units. So I'm gonna give them a flexibility to select total units. So I'm gonna add total units, revenue perspective, okay? So I added all the required column sign measures which the user might be interested in. So then I'm gonna save this here. So you have an option here, select save, okay? So I save this one. And now close this window, okay? And now if I go back to my page properties here under the format section, before that I'll save this file, okay? Save this file. Okay, so now if I use this drop down, let me expand this, okay? Let me save the file once again here. And now if I go back to the visualization here, so in this drop down, let me see. Okay, so we have it here, revenue perspective. Select this one, revenue perspective. Okay. Maybe if, if you want this perspective to be applied to all the pages, you can select apply to all pages. If not, you can just select revenue perspective. And now you need to publish this file to the services, okay? So remember, in the visualization, in the axis, I had only region level zero and total revenue, okay? Just one column and one measure. Let me quickly publish this to the services and I'll show you how we can use this perspective, okay? So I was able to successfully publish this into the services, my workspace, so now, if you notice here, you have an icon called personalize this visual. So let me click on this personalize this visual option. Now you have an option to select other dimension which we created in perspective. So now I have only level zero, right? So let's say the user doesn't want to see level zero. They, they have an option to remove this field, okay? They can remove this field and then click on add a new field, okay? So in this perspective, okay, you, you're viewing a subset of your data called revenue perspective, okay? So we, remember I, I created so many fields, total revenue, total units, etc. in this perspective, under revenue perspective. Let's say the user want to see something like uh, level two, okay? It's, instead of level zero, they want to see level one. They can select level one, and then add it here. Let's say the user doesn't want to see total revenue, which I created by default in the PBI desktop file. So they can remove this here, remove field. And then let's say, you remember, we also added total units. So if you open this perspective, you have something called total units. So they can add this and then see by total units. And also they have other options to add legend, and change the axis. They can also change the visualization type according to their requirements. So this is how uh, 
perspective works in power bi it's extremely powerful it allows users the flexibility to modify uh, the visualization according to their requirements and uh, hope you guys enjoyed this video and i hope it was useful as well and if you like this video please give it a thumbs up and share with your friends or colleagues okay and thanks for watching have a great day